Hey everyone! Welcome back to Maddie's Creative Corner. It's so good to have you here. Today, I'm going to show you how you can recreate this awesome look with polygels and gel polish. I haven't really seen a lot of people recreate this with polygel. Instead, most people do it with acrylic. So I thought it would be a great idea to make it beginner friendly and to show you guys how you can do it. So let's get started. So I'm starting off with uh, my own nails. I've already applied tips and a base coat and I'm going to be using these three polygels. And first off, we're going to start with our Vanalisa brush and this uh, nude colored polygel and we're gonna go ahead and apply it onto the ring finger and create a smile line then you want to cut off the excess product and remove it i just put it to the finger next to it because i was going to repeat the same design and i'm going to be repeating this sort of smile line with the nude color on all of the nails except for the pinky and I'm speeding up this process quite a bit because I've shown it before. I'm gonna pop up the video now so you can click on it and watch it, my other encapsulated nails video. So we're just repeating the exact same thing for the thumb. After curing it, I will go ahead with my nail file and I will just make it as round and smooth as possible. And for today's look, I asked you guys on Instagram what colors you would like me to go for and 67% of you chose blue. So we're gonna be using the following colors today that you saw in the beginning as well. It's always so difficult for me to pick the right colors for each video. <laughs> so with the same, with the first lightest blue color, we're gonna go ahead and draw a small line right above the smile line that we just created with the nude polygel. And we're going to be repeating the exact same thing on the pointer finger as well. And after curing it, we will take a tiny bead of polygel, very, very small bead of clear polygel, apply it right on and then cover that line that we just drew. You want it to be thin and you want it to be as close to the color as possible. And after you cure it, we will go ahead and just file the smile line once again, just like we did with the nude poly gel to make sure that it's round and smooth. And this is super simple, you will just have to repeat the exact same process on all of the nails. You will go from color to color, from the lightest to the darkest shades, and paint a thin strip of the color, apply your bead of poly gel, encapsulate it, and cure it, and then file it to the desired shape. This color is super pretty, it has glitter inside and it's amazing for summer designs. I've made a sea themed nail set before with this color. I'm definitely recreating it this summer for the channel so you guys can see it. It's such a super pretty color, I just love it. Also you might notice that I have left a bit of a gap between the colors. Some people do it in a way that completely combines the colors and it looks like an ombre, but you could easily achieve this with just painting on the color line after line and then encapsulating the whole thing. I wanted to give it a bit of a special look. I wanted to make sure that the clear shows through and I, I really really like it. I think it looks so special. This color also has glitter inside and I had to paint two coats of it. If you need to paint a second coat, if your color is too opaque, go ahead and do so, just cure it in between.
and we're finally at the last color this color is called abyss and it's such a beautiful dark blue i freaking love this color and once again we're just encapsulating the last part of the nail with the poly gel and then we're curing it so for the middle finger i went ahead and just randomly picked up beads of the different colors put them on the nail and as you will see later on i made a very very simple and quick marble i took a second to just draw the color around the smile line to make sure it's even and sharp and then i just marbled the colors together and created this awesome design after that was done i cured it and then i encapsulated it with some clear poly gel So now for the remaining nails, I had this Mad Doll Poly Gel laying around that I hadn't really used on a video before. I bought it from eBay a while back and I really liked it. It's a little bit difficult to work with because it's very compact with glitter. But I thought I would use it for today's video. It has a blue undertone and it's super pretty. So I decided to do the filing off camera because it would take a long time and I skipped straight ahead to applying the top coat so I can show you guys the reveal of these beautiful glitters first and foremost and then we will go ahead and see how the designs look. As you can see they're super vibrant, they're really really pretty. I feel like they almost remind me of something, of a cartoon or an object or something, but I can't really put my finger on it. If you guys know what I mean, leave me a comment down below and let me know. This marble finger turned out so pretty, I really really like the colors and the combination of everything. It kind of reminds me of a flower. So of course, it's bling time, you know guys. And like always, we're gonna use the Vanalisa Gem Glue. We're gonna put a small amount onto the fingernails that we want to enhance. <laughs> and I recently bought this really cool wax pen from AliExpress. It's made out of soy wax, I think. And it just really helps pick up the rhinestones and put them in place. I'm going to use these beautiful crystals for the thumb and I got these as well along with the pen from a store on Aliexpress and they are some of the best quality gemstones I've ever gotten from Aliexpress. They are glass and they look so realistic, I freaking love them. And of course, last but not least, we're adding some cuticle oil to nourish the cuticles. We're gonna wrap it in. And here's the reveal! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love how this turned out. These are super easy to make and if you're a beginner, please give them a try. I believe in you, you can definitely do this. And of course, if you do it, share a picture with me on Instagram. I'll be so excited to see all the designs that you guys make. And please leave a like, leave a comment telling me what you thought. Subscribe to my channel for more content every Tuesday and leave me any suggestions for future videos and i will see you guys next week bye